Yeah, man, it's been a minute, man, since I tuned into this motherfucker, man. Yeah, yeah, it's been a minute, man, since I tuned in. And goddamn, he chimed in on this motherfucker, man. Uh, yeah, man, I really, uh, see, I know a lot of you niggas. Uh, how, how can I say this? How can I, uh, a lot of you niggas is, uh, what I like to call, uh, uh, social media men uh you niggas live looking at this social media shit y'all ain't got a whole lot going on in real life so you bitch ass niggas lay around watching these videos and and commenting on these video because you niggas really some suckers and y'all some lame i ain't got no respect for no niggas sitting up watching no youtube i don't watch youtube videos i watch me but i wouldn't take my time to watch your videos I don't watch no learning videos. It ain't nothing that I can learn from watching YouTube. I'm what you call a real life money getting nigga. My bitch is a real life money getting bitch. I ain't got time to be looking, scrolling through YouTube, listening to what no other motherfucker got to say. But this is what I enjoy the most though. Man, I enjoy typing my name in and doing this right here. Let me, let me see. Man, I enjoy typing my name, man. Can I flick this motherfucker around? Let me see. Man, I enjoy typing my name, man, and doing this right here. So I type in Charleston White, and, man, I look at all this shit. God damn. Man, look at all this shit. Man, ain't none of them me. Man, look at all this shit. Charleston White. Char this the really the shit right here, though. Hold on. Just that nigga right here. Looking for some negative attention. Get that shit to them people, man. Don't get that shit to them. Yeah, yeah, this the live shit right here. This nigga right here. Hey, man, this band down on the right, man. You already know what you're watching, man. You're watching Gasoline TV, the reliable source. What I want to talk about real quick, man. Charleston White, hold your head up. Salute to Charleston White out there out of Fort Worth, Texas, man. Out there making a difference, right? I see he came to his little uh, situation today. He came out. And everybody was at an uproar. Some people was uh, having a problem with him or whatnot, but he stood his ground. He got up on top of that damn car and told him, ain't nobody going to touch me. Ain't nobody going to do a damn thing to me. And, you know, and the crazy part about that, man, it's always us. Always us, man. When a black man get out there and stand for his people and stand for what's right and start saying things that make people uncomfortable, the truth make you uncomfortable. When a person tell the truth, it make motherfuckers uncomfortable. He tell the truth. He tell how they killing each other. They doing that red and blue. They need to cut that shit out. They feeding them kids brain brain damage. He tell the truth. He come out and everybody want to ambush him like he's the enemy. What the fuck did he do? Yeah, he get on social media and say what he say. But I'm going to tell you one thing. When he say what he say, it be the truth. The truth hurt a lot of people, man. When that man get up there and really get to talking about what he's seeing, how we set so far back and the bullshit that we still doing to one another. So how we ain't going to get ahead. He makes sense. And then kind of like call people out. You know what I mean? But sometimes that's necessary. But in our culture, you know, we become targets. You know what I'm saying? So when I see a man like that, man, I got to salute him. He came out. Y'all thought he was going to be in the house hiding from the world? No. He's really pushing the line, trying to change some things to make things better. Sometimes that's called for to go out there. But I really feel like, man, you know, it was very disrespectful for anybody to come to where he was with malice. Any kind of negative energy, man. Save that negative energy for them negative people. There's a lot of negative people that standing on corners with guns in their pockets looking for some negative attention. Get that shit to them people, man. Don't get that shit to a person that's out there trying to change something for the better. You feel me? I be, I be hating that, man. There'll be a lot of people that target good people that's trying to, you feel me? And you speak up for your people. Then a lot of the people that you're speaking up for don't even understand you really speaking up. They won't get behind you. They won't support you. Until they see some money, some jewelry, you standing on top of the car dancing like a fool. Now you the man. You own. Now it's your phone ringing. Where you at? Now it's, I'm going to pull up on you. But when you out here trying to do the right shit, you turn around, you look, you be by yourself. 
Charleston White, you're not alone, man. We feel you way here in California. And there's a lot of brothers in other states, man, that feel what you're doing. Keep speaking how you're speaking, man, because you're reaching people and you're telling the truth. You feel me? If the truth make people uncomfortable, hey, man, that's just what it is. You feel me? I'd rather the truth make me uncomfortable for me to get past it and better myself, take a lesson learned as a jewel and learn to better myself to sit here and listen to a lie that ain't going to send me nowhere but to prison. Ain't going to do nothing but set me back. Have me riding around with a gun, looking over my shoulder, trying to see who, who watching me, who trying to play with me. Come on, man. Get off that bullshit. Bandana the Rat. Gasoline TV, the reliable source. Say, man, I love, I'm talking about, nigga, you just strolled through this shit, nigga.